Hello, teachers. We will be showing you the latest addition to Nearpod. It is Nearpod EL. Remember to log on to Nearpod through Clever using your OMSD email and credentials. Once you're logged in, you will see the new addition on the left panel under the section titled Nearpod Programs. Click on that and scroll down to where you will see different subjects that include EL lessons. For example, if you click on language acquisition, you will see grammar, academic vocabulary, newcomer essentials, and building background. Let's click on newcomer essentials phrases. As you can see, there are 30 aligned resources. Let's click on can I borrow a pencil so you can see that it is not self-paced. It is made for teachers to do with their students. If you want to use this lesson, you can always go to add to my lessons. That way you will easily find the selected ones under my lessons for future use. Uh, just a quick reminder, Nearpod does not replace the teacher. These lessons can be live participation or student pace. For newcomers, we do not recommend the student pace option as they are still learning English language. Now let's go back and look at academic vocabulary by clicking English learners on the gray left panel. Scroll to select uh, language acquisition and then academic vocabulary. It is categorized by grade spans and also uh, subject areas. Uh, let's show you math K-5. There are 50 lessons here. Let's select add. And let's show you this preview. There are uh, 18 slides. We are not going to go through all the slides, but it gives you an idea of what the lesson is. Another thing we want to show you is the language supports that content lessons have. So let's go back to English learners on the gray panel. We will scroll to science. Next, we will select our grade level span, six, eight. Okay, then life science. I'm going to show you the muscular system. First, you'll see the content lesson. This lesson has 48 slides, but again, it can be added to your lessons, so that way you can modify it later. Either from the top or by scrolling down, you will uh, see the language supports. These can be for any content that you select under English learners. These language supports can help advance academic language within the content lessons, so it may be a good idea to use them as a preview or building background before the actual content lesson that is found at the very top. All these English learner lessons are very interactive and promote literacy in several ways. Finally, we want to show you the alignment between Nearpod EL and our adapted cur curriculum, uh, Wonders and Eureka. To get there, click on District Library on the left gray panel. Now let's show you Wonders. You will find the folders for each grade level. Let's uh, open third grade. Click uh, Preview. To open this document. Now this document will have all the units with the links to all the Nearpod lessons that align to the curriculum including EL. You will scroll down to find the blue and gray area and again you can see it's by unit. All the live links are in blue. It includes some lessons to support academic vocabulary and EL newcomer and content support for each week. Uh, let's open character. This one has, as you can see at the top, 19 lessons. Uh, these lessons offer many opportunities for students to explore vocabulary in an interactive way with supports and opportunities to practice the four domains, uh, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. 
To exit, you can click on the Nearpod logo at the top left corner. This is like your home button. We hope that you will use this new addition to Nearpod to support your English learners, both during designated and integrated ELD. If you have any questions or need further support, feel free to contact Anna Harrison or Lizeth Ferrer from the English Learner Department. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.